Hey RV shoppers, I got one for your shopping list. Behind me, the Keystone Springdale Classic 200 LRC. A classic build for a budget buy. I'm Mikey B with Beckley's RVs. Let's go take a look. Outside the Keystone Springdale Classic 200 RLC, nothing classic about this. We have a lot of power features that are gonna be able to enable that patio party time. First, when you pull up in your campsite to be able to stabilize the trailer, you have power stabilizer jacks on both the front and the rear. Ooh, I've got to push a button. I'm sweating, right? Super easy. Once we've got our trailer set up, now I've got a power awning that's adjustable on both sides that I can swing out, get protected from that light rain or maybe some of those UV rays. And last but not least, it wouldn't be party patio time without maybe TV or some tunes. I'm rocking out on this 200 RLC for sure. Stand inside the Keystone Springdale Classic 200 RLC, a classic build for your budget buy. It has got some great features that we can still be able to enjoy our camping on a budget. And I gotta start in the back and we're gonna finish up in the front. But starting in the back here, we have three big scenic windows. There's not only just for the scene, if we've pulled our back into our campsite and got a beautiful area to, 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 to view, but also all three windows open up. So if we just want some fresh camping air, we love that, don't we campers? We can open them up and enjoy the day. But back here, we've got a couple things going on. We have, of course, our four person dinette booth that's gonna be able to uh, sit everybody comfortably enjoy some of the, some great campsite meals but it also converts into a bed in case you got some extra kiddos or extra company just going to remove the, <laughs> remove the table legs drop in your table and bring in the back cushions to finish off that bed now we can sleep two kids maybe a dog corner to corner and if that's not enough we have a two-person so, uh, sofa on the opposite side that is like a futon that just flips out and folds down again maybe uh, a kid or so can stow or sleep into that space but hey if we do are bringing some extra people or if we're going to have a long trip we've got some extra storage over top to be able to stow some of those items and maybe it's pantry items that you want to stow i love next to the big refrigerator freezer we have a huge amount of space to stow a lot of stuff and I know I love eating when I go camping, so this is plenty for the three, four of us that go. And anything cold that you want to keep, look at the size of this refrigerator and freezer. It is huge. This is going to be able to obviously give you plenty of ability to take a lot of stuff with you. Now, of course, you've got all that stuff with you. What are you going to do with it? We have a big, um, large, deep, uh, sink to be able to you know maybe do some dishes and do some prep area we've got some counter space to throw some stuff over there two burner stove to get some of those pots with some of those good vegetables or something roasted up plenty of storage for my utensils and speaking of pots I've got big deep tall uh, space for pots and pans or maybe even a trash can and if that's not enough they still give us some overhead storage above the sink to be able to stow some stuff there and last but not least in the kitchen gotta have a microwave just in case for that popcorn movie night right so you can throw in and some reheats as well but I have to say one of the, my favorite items in this um, classic build is the barn door this is an awesome uh, feature that they've done. I've been in a lot of campers and usually you have a like a swing out door that impedes that walkway So if you are have some extra kiddos with you camping when you open and close this This is smart smart move, but in the bathroom we have everything that we need We have counter space for our toiletries. We have a mirror to check my do in the morning We have space for our toiletries or a trash can below and of course shower is plenty of room we've got eagle wings we've got head height and uh throw on a shower or um, <laughs> throw put on a shower curtain and we've got a nice good hot shower in this smaller trailer last but not least you still with me we've got our main queen bed up front and it's a nice um temper <laughs> 
um, type mattress. <laughs> Say that 20 times wrong, but it's a full walk around bed. So that way we're not crawling over somebody at night to go to the bathroom. And it's so much easier to make, uh, make the bed. Trust me, I had a truck camper once upon a time. Man, that sucker changing the sheets was a disaster. But they still maintain um, some uh, conveniences for us. Either side, we have place to throw our cell phone. We have uh, uh, electric outlets to, to plug in. And we have shirt or uh, closets or however you want to use it. Also coupled with the overhead storage here so I can stow some of my gear. Maybe throw some book bags and stuff. So there you have it. Classic build for your budget. The Keystone Springdale Classic 200 RLC. Come check it out. All right, there you have it. A classic build for your budget buy. Hopefully it's on your shopping list. We have a trailer that's gonna be under 24 foot, can sleep four to five. It's got all the uh, creature comforts that you're gonna need on a nice weekend out camping. The Keystone Springdale Classic 200 RLC. If you think you like it, show us a like, thumbs up, comment below on anything that you got questions or want to see further and show us some love. Smash that subscribe button. I'm Mikey B at Beckley's RVs. We'll see you at the campsites.